Use with caution and dogs with a history of seizures or neurological. What is up to you guys? It has been a very, very long seven years of fighting an endless war that I never thought I would get away from. Let me make sure it's working for you guys. Yes. Yep, there we, go. there we go. Now, as many of you may or may not know, seven years ago, I was put through hell. And my whole life got changed and got switched upside down because of everything that I've been through. And never in my entire life never in my life did I think that my whole fucking goddamn life would get fucked up. But it did. And guess what? Through good friends and family. And people that gave a shit. People like you guys that actually cared. I got out of that shit. But right now, I want to show you guys what I went through emotionally. All these years. All the pain and hatred, the suffering that I dealt with, the pain that I went through. I want to share that with you guys right now. Starting it off with this. What the fuck is up? How the fuck's everybody doing tonight? How are you guys? Yo, Emo, what up, dude? We're gonna continue this trend and keep it fucking going. And if you guys like this, drop a follow and drop a like on this shit. Let's go. We're about to do it like this. This is how I will prove that I'm worthy of the best guild. Mm. Who the hell did that? Oh. Now this one right here, this next song, 
It's going out to every single fucking person out there that has shown love and support for me, no matter what. Whether you're old, new, to me, it don't fucking matter. This is... Peace, motherfuckers. Y'all ain't coming back. This here is a troll-free zone. Here, no trolls are allowed. Ever. Hey folks, we're back today with another trailer demo. My name's Chris Del Signor, General Manager for Ascendance Truck Centers here in Girard, Ohio. Today we're going to take a look at the Wabash 53-foot low deck. You can believe what happened over here, man. Yeah, was by. What up, man? Depop has no now, selling fees. I got something special Sell your for you guys, and man. Keep more of the money you make. Sell what you don't wear and clear out your closet. Use the extra cash yeah. to. Now, before I start this next song, I got a question for you guys. How many of you guys want to know about how I was born and about how I survived and stared death in the face and wasn't supposed to live? How many of you guys want to hear about that right now? Because see, a lot of people don't know my real fucking story and about how I wasn't supposed to be here, how I wasn't supposed to live. And this song tells that tale. This is a story of mine. And I want to give a huge thank you to my brother and fellow music artist, NK47, for doing this song, man. So NK, if you're watching this, brother, this is for you, big dog. And this is also for all you that don't know my story. So allow me to tell it to you. This is story of mine. Now, if you guys don't know what that song was about, 33 years ago, On my birthday, I was born, obviously. But I was born with a 1% chance of survival and wasn't supposed to live. I was born with one kidney and one very severely underdeveloped lung and was born very premature. I was born 10 pounds, I was born 10 pounds, one ounces. And I was not supposed to live at all whatsoever. The doctors gave me a 1% chance of survival Every doctor in that hospital, and I mean every doctor in that hospital, said that I would not make it. Except for one doctor that just happened to be my godmother. Every doctor in there, except my godmother, said that I wasn't supposed to survive. My weight kept fluctuating till I was down to one pound ten ounces during that whole thing for whatever reason. My arms and legs were the size of my mom's pinky, and my head was the size of her fist. I barely made it out. So when I say that I stared the Grim Reaper in the face, and that I stared death in the face, and I walked out like a boss, it's because it's true. I did all those things. I did that. And here I am, 33 years later, for you guys. I was put here on this earth for a reason. And that reason is to help you guys through whatever you're fucking going through. Whether you're having a shitty day, whether you're going through a very big issue, no matter what, I'm here for you guys. When you guys come here, you guys come here for a reason. Because the life and society and the world are hard. And you guys come here to set your burdens down.
And trust me, I know how hard the world can be. I know how hard the world can be. But like I said, I'm here for you guys. I'm here for y'all, man. I don't give a fuck what these haters say. All these trolls, they can kick rocks. Matter of fact, everybody in the comments right now, I want every single fucking one of you right now in the comments to put hashtag fuck the troll community or hashtag fuck the trolls. I want to see y'all put that right now. And I know y'all are watching, so I know y'all can do it. I want to see y'all right now put hashtag fuck the trolls. Because they're the reason that my life got fucked up for over seven years. But I'm out of that community now. And I have no plans, no wants, and no need to go back to that fucking shithole. Because that shithole is what fucked my life up. But guess what, motherfuckers? I'm back. I'm back to being the person that I was before 2017. That Cyrax person that they made me out to be, that's not who I am. And I want to show you guys who I really am and what I'm really about. Because you guys that show love and support for me, you guys never got to see how I can really be and who I really am as a human being, as a person. So allow me to say that I'm sorry that you guys got robbed of that. I'm sorry that every single one of you guys got robbed of being able to see who I really am as a person. I'm sorry you guys had to witness that person that I became, that monster that I had to fucking shut down and destroy. I'm sorry that y'all never got to see who I really am as a person. The kind, loving, caring, fun-having person that I am. You guys got robbed of that. But guess what? I'm back to make it up to you guys. I'm back to make it up to you guys. And I can tell you right now, I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. I can promise you that. Getting a fresh deal at Subway has never been easy. I have easy. a question Just for everyone here. Just find any here. foot wrong in the app, get another free. Polly Pratt's wore many hats. They came from past jobs, in fact. Every time. I have a very simple question for everyone here. Where's all my Black Veil Brides Army fans at? Where's all my fellow Black Veil Brides Army at? Where are you guys at? Good. Because right now, this song with all of you and God and my ancestors and my family and friends that are no longer with us, right here in front of you, this song 
It's the mark of a brand new chapter in my life. And this chapter is about to be a fucking good one. This is... Now, how many of you guys are ready to take it up a notch? And to my girl, and to my girl, share. What up, Vaughn? How you doing? I smoked and have had multiple strokes. How many of you guys in the comments right now are ready to take this up a notch? Are you guys ready to take this up to a full-blown 10? Because if you guys are ready for it, then you guys fucking got it. But I need to know, are you guys ready to take this up a notch? I need everybody in the comments right now to let me know. Are you guys ready to take this up a fucking notch? Because I'm ready, if you guys are. If you guys are ready, then so am I. But I need to know. Put it in the comments, fellas. Let me know if you guys are ready. Yo, Miku, share. Was. Sinja. Are you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready to take this up a fucking notch? Let me know in the comments. Are you guys ready to get rowdy? Just a little rowdy. Not too rowdy. Just a little bit. All right. You guys want it? You guys got it. And this one right here, by the way, is a big fuck you, not only from me, but from you guys to the whole fucking troll community. This is no pity for a fucking coward. Now give me just a second guys, I gotta go do something, I'll be right back. So y'all hang out amongst yourselves, have fun, chill out, and I'll be right back.
Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm back. Some guys, I guess, had to handle something real quick. And it's funny how all these trolls up in here, man. They think they're badass motherfuckers. But they really ain't shit. Like I said, I do apologize for stepping away as long as I did. I had to take care of some shit. But this one right here is for all my Devil May Cry fans. And yo, share. Save money Massive and make money on YouTube. Depop. Buy your favorite brands and get them for cheaper than retail. Share. Save on the latest this styles. This next one. When you're done, this is for you. Sell them with no selling fees and use the. Hold on one sec, guys. Now, for those of you that don't know who Mongolia Park is, well, you guys are about to fucking find out. This is Mongolia Park. And their song, Animal. Ah. 
Alright guys This last song I hope this final song right here that I'm about to do for you guys I hope that this song leaves you with something positive I hope that this song shows you that like me you guys can break that toxic cycle you guys can get through whatever you're going through if you're in a toxic relationship break that cycle and get out if you're in a troll community break that cycle and get the fuck out Cause if I can break this cycle and get out of my situation, I know damn well you all have the strength within you to break that cycle yourselves and get out just as I did. This is Break the Cycle. Now the reason why I chose that song is the final song for this stream is for a very important reason because I want every single one of you that is going through something no matter what it is I want you guys to remember that you guys can make it through it no matter what it is no matter what's going on you guys can make it through whatever you're going through you guys can break that cycle and set yourself free but it's up to you guys to break that cycle Cause if I can break my cycle and I can make it through what the fuck I've been going through you guys you can do the exact same I fucking love you guys I'll catch you guys later thank y'all for sticking around man fucking love y'all as always stay humble stay positive keep being yourself and keep being awesome <laughs>